Hello, and welcome to The Storiest. Today, I will tell you about a restaurant manager who was about to kick out an old woman who seemed like a tramp, not knowing who she really was. Watch until the end of the video to find out who the old woman really was, and why she only needed an ounce of kindness to change the restaurant manager's life. Our story today takes place in Austin, Texas. There was a small restaurant near my apartment where I used to go and spend time writing and drinking coffee. This restaurant had recently come under new management and the whole interior of the restaurant was redone. It was much nicer than it had been before and it quickly became my favorite place to go and hang out. Also, they had really good coffee. I would often find myself people watching while I was there. One day, last summer, an elderly woman came into the restaurant. Her clothes were old and dirty, and her hair was a mess. I figured she must be homeless. The old woman made her way to the restroom, but I saw her stop in the hall for a moment. There was a picture of all the restaurant staff and the manager on the wall. The old woman looked at the picture for a few minutes, then went into the restroom. When she came back out a few moments later, she looked at the picture again, and then looked around the restaurant. I thought maybe she was going to sit at an empty table, but she just looked around. Then the old woman left. The next day, I went in again for lunch, and the same thing happened. The old woman came into the restaurant and looked at the picture in the hall before using the restroom. Then she looked around the restaurant for a moment, and then left. She never talked to anyone or ordered anything. When this happened again the next day, I thought to myself, this makes three days in a row. How strange. On the fourth day, I could see some of the staff talking about the old woman after she left. They were huddled together by the corner, staring at her and whispering. I felt bad for the old woman. She wasn't bothering anybody, but she appeared to be a homeless person. She was attracting attention. This happened again on the fifth day. By this point, I was very curious. Who was this old woman? Why did she keep coming into the restaurant day after day? And who was she looking for? I would soon learn the answers to all three of my questions. But for now, I simply wondered and drank my coffee. The next day was a Saturday. I usually don't go to the cafe on Saturdays. But I was so curious about the old woman that I went anyway. It was very crowded in the cafe that day. In fact, it was so crowded that there weren't any open tables, and I had to sit at the counter. The young lady working the counter told me that it was so busy, everyone who worked at the cafe was working that day. Even our manager, John, is helping us out as a waiter right now, she said, as she filled my cup with steaming hot coffee. I thanked her for the coffee and ordered a sandwich. Then I settled in and waited for the old woman. I was so curious to see if she would come back again today. While I waited, I watched the chaos in the crowded cafe. The waiters, waitresses, and even the manager moved quickly from table to table, taking orders and refilling coffee cups. I had just finished my sandwich and was about to pay and leave when the door swung open. It was the old woman. She looked as haggard and unkempt as ever. She was very quiet as she made her way through the crowd and to the restroom. As the old woman passed, I could see the staff staring at her again. Just like she did every time, the old woman stopped in the hallway and looked at the picture on the wall for a long while. From where I sat, I could see an incredible sadness in her eyes. I could also see the manager walking in the direction of the old woman. He looked stressed, and I wondered about what was going to happen next. From my seat at the counter, I watched the manager approach the old woman. Ma'am, he said, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. The restrooms are for paying customers. 
My staff tells me you've come in here every day this week. Then, for the first time, I heard the old woman speak. I just wanted to wash up for a moment and look around. This is such a nice restaurant. The manager frowned. Thank you. The staff and I work very hard to keep it that way. Now can you please leave? I didn't take over running this place to let it turn into a camp for homeless people. I could see that his words hurt the old woman. Her eyes started to well up with tears. But then she straightened her head. I'll go, she said, and the old woman turned and started to walk to the door. I felt bad for the old woman, and I felt ashamed that I had not stepped up to say anything to help her. But what happened next was so surprising, I almost dropped my coffee cup. As she got to the door, the old woman stopped and turned to face the manager. The tears were gone from her eyes. I heard her say, I'll go, but before I do, can I ask you a question? The manager threw his hands up in the air, clearly frustrated that she wouldn't just leave. Sure, he said, but then you have to leave. The old woman stared defiantly at the manager and asked, Do you ever wonder if your mother is proud of the work you've done here? The manager thought hard for a moment, choosing his words. Then he answered her, saying, I don't know. I, I grew up in a foster home. I was an orphan. I, I never knew my mother. The manager paused, and I could see a sadness in his eyes now, too. Look, he said, I I'm sorry for being mean to you. It's just so crowded and busy today in here. Would you like a cup of coffee on the house? The old woman smiled at the manager. That's very kind of you. Actually, I've been coming here all week because I was looking for you. I've seen how much you've improved this restaurant since you took over. And I just thought you should know that... Your mother is very proud of you. The manager looked confused. How could you know that? He asked. The old woman smiled at the manager and said, I know because I am your mother. I sat in amazement and listened as the old woman told the manager her story. She said that leaving him at the orphanage after he was born was the hardest thing she had ever done in her life. She had always wanted a son, but she knew that she couldn't give him a good life, so she gave him up for adoption. Now that she was older, she had spent what little money she had come to find him in Austin. She had heard that he was working at a restaurant, and she began searching every restaurant in the city to find him. She had seen him in the picture of the wall and recognized him instantly. The restaurant manager was amazed he quickly rushed to his mother's side and took her to an empty seat. They were still sitting together and talking when I finally decided to leave.